Hey everyone, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And as you guys know, having the right tool for the job is really important. And that's why we're gonna give you a closer look at the Motion Pro Heavy Duty Pin Spanner. All right, so the heavy duty pin spanner is gonna work for shock reservoirs, shock caps, the screw in seal heads, fork caps, and bearing retainers. Your range on this is 10 and a half to 150 millimeters. You've got three different sizes of pins. So you have your three, four, and five millimeter outside diameter pins. Now with those, you always wanna use the largest pin possible. The other cool thing about it, you're gonna be able to use a torque wrench with this, we'll show you more about that later. And some jobs you're not gonna be able to do without this tool. For example, we're converting this WP shock to a bladder style instead of using this floating piston style reservoir. So we'll go ahead and show you how to use this tool on this shock. So on our spanner, we have the correct pin selected and then we need to heat up right where this reservoir screws into the shock body. We're gonna use the torch for that. Once you've broken this free, if it locks up on you at all, you just want to heat that back up. It means the Loctite reset. You want to make sure this tool stays square on the reservoir. Now just keep in mind this reservoir is still really hot. That's why I'm using a rag. Try and screw it the rest of the way. And we'll go ahead and set it on our rag. Now the bladder conversion kit is not going to use the pin spanner to reinstall it. So real quick, we'll show you how to torque something down. So if I want to get a specific torque on the tool, if you turn the torque wrench 90 degrees from where the pin spanner is going, then you're going to be able to just use the recommended torque in your service manual. Or if there's not enough room to get the torque wrench at a 90 degree angle on there, if you're torquing straight on, there's gonna be a correction formula in the instructions so you can still get the correct torque on the fastener or whatever you're tightening down. Now, one more thing I wanna point out about the parts that require a pin spanner. Sometimes you can find something just to make things work and get these parts off, but you're gonna have a lot of headaches. I've used a strap wrench and a torch to get these bladders off before. I've even broken one of those strap wrenches. And really just do yourself a favor, avoid all the headache. Pick up one of these Motion Pro heavy duty pin spanners on our website. And for more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.